What's going on everybody? Welcome back to T3G. We're doing a gaming video. I am on my own today and we are playing World of Warcraft. I just reactivated my account. It's been a few months. Uh, I stopped playing about three months ago or so. Uh, obviously waiting on... Um, I'm waiting on uh, Legion to drop. I played a little bit of a Legion beta. I'm super excited about it, and that's what we're going to talk about today as we're doing this dungeon. Uh, I am, if you're wondering what I'm doing in Magisters, uh, I am doing the um, random time walking dungeon set, um, and I am playing my. Ooh, let's 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 make sure this sound is not overpowering. Where's the master volume? There we are. Let's go ahead and do that. Perfect. All right. So, um, I am excited about Legion, and there's a few reasons why. One, two of the characters that I play, or classes that I play, Warrior and uh, Shaman, of course. Shaman's going to be my main enhancement shaman, specifically, uh, have been improved, in my opinion. They are uh, a lot better. Uh, both classes are, and I'm super excited about it. Now, I mainly PvE. I haven't PV main PvP'd in a long time. I do PvP here and there, uh, but I used to a lot more in vanilla. Uh, so that's that's the biggest thing. I'm excited uh, for a few reasons. One, obviously, the revamping of the classes. I haven't tried out a few other classes. I do also play basically every class. I have a mage, I have a hunter, um, I have a pally. Um, but my main is my shaman, enhanced shaman. And uh, I think my second main is going to be the warrior. It used to be the pally, but I think this time around it's going to be the warrior. I do play alliance. Uh, I've had The hunter is horde. I play both. I've played hardcore and casual. I know a lot of people argue back and forth on, oh, you know, if you're a casual player, you shouldn't play the game. From hardcore players and hardcore player or and casual players say, you know, Come on, Blizzard, uh, you know, make this more attainable for the casual players. And um, here's my thing. Since I've played both, I disagree with the hardcore players. I think it, just because you don't have the time they do to play the game doesn't mean you shouldn't be able to play the game. Uh, that's the whole point is that they do offer both. So if you're a hardcore player and you're upset that, uh, you know, they offer the easy options, don't play the easy options. Don't do Raid Finder. Don't do um, LFG looking for group. Stop doing that stuff. If you're honestly uh, uh, mad about the, the easy option, don't do the easy option. You have more than capable of making that decision on your own if you're not that is your problem uh but that's not what we're going to be talking about we're talking about legion uh the reason other reason i'm excited for legion is the artifact weapons i am extremely happy on the fact that um, we are getting those and we don't longer have to worry about trying to attain the right weapon for ourselves um, that's i think one of the biggest things that i've had a problem with is when doing dungeons and raids uh, you are, you are not, uh, how can I put it? You never, you have to do it so many times where you don't get the right weapon. And, uh, and that's, that's the crappy thing about it. Now I know they've changed how loot is going to drop in for um, Legion. Uh, I guess they've made the drop, drop system a lot better to make sure that you don't get the same drop multiple times during the, um, when you're running the dungeon if you've already received that item um, so that way you get a better chance of getting uh, the items you need from drops which is great but I think this is a best way I, I think personally this is the best option for uh, doing weapons I think uh, the fact that uh, they're constantly with you they level with you and then on top of that uh, and then on top of that they also provide you with buffs uh, or upgrades to, you know, particular moves and stuff like that. I think that's uh, amazing. I think that is an awesome thing Blizzard could have done. And uh, that's one of my more exciting things about it. I'm hoping they improve in, in Warlords. I feel like um, I feel like that the dungeon system was a little underutilized. I feel like that in uh, Warlords, um, nobody really cared about doing... Uh, dungeons after a while and I think they need to figure that out again because back in BC and in uh, um, personally in, in, in Wrath 
uh, that was not a uh, issue ever. Uh, we always wanted to uh, do it because they always had a new dungeon coming out and uh, it was the best thing they could have done. So I've, I hope they bring that back. Um, that's going to be the biggest thing, in my opinion, is bring back doing, wanting to do dungeons a little more. Don't get me wrong, you know, obviously we all want to do the raids too, but I feel like that doing uh, dungeons is also a nice thing when you don't have time to do a raid. And I think they should definitely bring back where, like, the final boss can drop a piece of epic loot for you uh, at the end of it. I think that's one of the biggest things. Now, I don't know if they are doing this. I haven't read all the notes, so I can't say that they are or they're not. They might not be. Uh, you know, they might have already mentioned that. I haven't heard anything them saying that, but I hope they do fix that because that really needs to come back, in my opinion. Uh, another reason I'm excited about it is PvP system. Even though I don't PvP as much as I used to, uh, the PvP system is getting revamped to the point where it seems like everybody's going to be able to PvP. And as long as you know how to play your class, you can do really good uh, in PvP, which is great. I think that's, that's the way it always should have been. Uh, it was unfortunate that certain classes were trumping other classes, so I do hope... That this is uh, this is going to be a good improvement on that part, um, just because you know uh, they're doing away with basically being able to buy PVP gear. The way it works now is that you're going to be able to. It, it comes in a drop, so if you win a match, you get a piece of gear, uh, which uh, I think is pretty cool. I think, uh, or you have a possibility of getting a piece of gear. I don't know exactly how it's working, but I know it's if you win them, uh, if you win a PVP match. Uh, you have the possibility of getting that piece of gear. So, that, in my opinion, is going to be some of the best things that are going to be part of uh, Legion. And I'm really looking forward to it. And as long as the... Le I, I think, firmly, I believe Warlords of Draenor offered one of the best leveling uh, experiences in any expansion. I know a lot of people enjoyed BC, uh, but... In my honest opinion, I've been playing the game since vanilla, since literally the game came out. And um, there's really no, uh, you know, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I, like I said, I played hardcore and casual. There's really no, uh, to say that, you know, all oh, we want vanilla back, I think that's stupid. I think all the improvements that they've offered up to this point, there's absolutely no reason to want vanilla. One, I don't know who who wants to try to figure out how to get 40 players on at the same time to do a raid. I think that's demented. Uh, I don't know who... Uh, that's fine if you want to make it difficult for the hardcore players, and they should do that. For the hardcore players, I know they want uh, it to be difficult, and due to that, uh, they should make... They should give an option where it's uh, difficult to, uh, to do certain raids. Uh, um, so they should definitely make sure that that's still available, and I believe they're definitely going to. But once again, if you're a hardcore raider, you know, don't bitch if you're taking the option of the easy route. You can't be complaining about it if um, if you're taking the, you know, just because it's there doesn't mean you should do it. If you're upset that it's easy, then don't do the easy ones. Do the hard ones. Do it how you're supposed to. That's going to be the biggest thing. Um, I'm not going to read. Or should I? Uh, no, because everybody's basically dead, so let's not do it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm crazy excited for Legion, and I hope you are too, because I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a big improvement. I think uh, the fact that you can prestige during PvP is kind of cool. I, uh, I'm I'm not a big Call of Duty fan, but I mean I play Titanfall, and Prestige has been available in a lot of those games, and I I think it's um, I think that's pretty cool that I think that gives us a lot of uh, a lot of cool uh, options for PvP and uh, I think that's going to be a pretty cool thing to do, uh, offer uh, to do if you want to take it. From what I understand, if you do prestige, you get some like cool possible mounts and stuff like that. So that's in my opinion that's going to be. Uh, an interesting factor. I don't know if so, it will be something that I will do uh, when it is available uh, because I've never been a fan of prestiging. I think um, 
the only people that do it good right now is Overwatch. Overwatch, you you know, hit level 100 and then you start again, but like nothing changes for you. So we'll see. We'll see how that works out. But I am excited once again that some of the classes are playing like they used to. I still wish that we had Dual Wind Fury. <laughs> Because in BC, Enhancement Shamans were amazing. I don't know if you guys ever played Enhancement Shamans in PCs or ever, if you played BC, Burning Crusade that is, just in case if somebody's confused on what am I talking about. Uh, but uh, they were amazing. They absolutely, with Duel and Fury, they were just ridiculous. And some people would argue that they were overpowered, but I, I don't know. I don't think they were. Um, I don't. I think they still had their... Uh, downs and I don't think they were uh, more powerful than certain other classes so I wouldn't say they were overpowered but they definitely were a, a lot more fun it was a lot more fun to see the DPS you can do especially in like a raid and stuff like that I think that was one of the ultimate things about it and to see them kind of coming back to that to to see that uh, you know they're kind of bringing back how how the game uh, plays or how you play the class in the game uh, as you can see right now th this is the newest newest patch that came out pre-patch for legion so the new buffs and moves are all in there and an enhancement doesn't have totems anymore uh but it definitely um it definitely has uh sorry guys i'm <laughs> trying to do this and talk but it definitely has i think the the fact that how it plays is really the best thing about it um i like uh, the moves that they offer, the fact that you have a move that you can spam now. There are different options on how that move works and different talents that you can try out. Uh, but I like how this this system is and how it plays. Um, how do I feel about them not having totems? You know, I'm kind of okay with it. Uh, it, it. I think it depends. I You know... I didn't like how they did totems for warlords. Uh, I missed totems that we had in BC uh, and Wrath. Uh, Wrath, I believe they had the one button where you can select the four totems and hit the one button and drop it. So I do miss that, right? I, I miss that you had the four totems. Now that they kind of erased that from the game uh, in warlords and I believe also in miss, I can't remember now. I'm actually happy that shamans don't have them and, and don't have to rely on them. I do know that you can choose a talent as an elemental uh, to have four totems drop down, which I have done on my elemental spec. But as, as an enhance, I, I don't think I care about it. Uh, another thing, we now have um, mana and build up maelstrom. I'm okay with it. it. It actually builds up pretty easily because you do have one move you can kind of spam for it. Uh, I didn't like it for I didn't like it when hunters had to build up their stuff. I don't know why. Uh, maybe how the class plays, but I actually don't mind it for the shaman itself. So in that part, it's pretty good. Uh, but that's that's really as much as I have to say about this. I don't really have much more to talk about. I'm excited for the artifact weapons, and I'm excited for some of the uh, class changes. Actually, I mean, every class has been changed. I just haven't played all the classes. The only ones I've played so far, uh, a little bit, a tiny bit on Paladin, but mainly uh, my Shaman and my Warrior I've been playing since the pre-patch has dropped, and I just love it. I love how... I've been talking about the Shaman, but I haven't really talked about the Warrior. I love how the uh, Fury Warrior plays. I've barely tried arms. I've mainly tried... Uh, Fury Warrior, and uh, I absolutely love it. I think uh, Fury Warriors play how they should, and I can't wait to see how the artifact weapons benefits the new uh, talents and stuff like that. So I am uh, I am excited to do it. I'm excited. I'm excited for the patch. I'm excited to see how much uh, these uh, how much these. Uh, uh, moves get buffed for damage wise so i'm i'm super excited about it i hope you guys are too we'll go ahead and finish this up here let's finish this real quick and as you can see that damage is absolutely amazing right now and i'm not even properly doing all my moves uh but the damage is absolutely absurd and i love it and this is exactly what i miss from bc 
I miss having this damage from my shaman. Now, from what I understand, it's not the best class for DPS, I believe. Uh, but it, they have improved them quite a lot. But that's it, guys. Finished up the dungeon here real quick. Just wanted to get it done. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Are you excited about World of Warcraft Legion? Have How long have you been playing? Have you stopped playing and came back? Are you not even interested anymore in playing the game and stuff like that? Uh, you know, be nice, be kind. I get it. If you're not interested, you're not interested. But you don't have to, like, you know, say it's crap or stuff like that. To you it is. To others it's not. I think it's still definitely one of the better MMOs that's still out. I have played um, Wildstar when it became free. I like Wildstar. I think it's the next closest game to how I like how World of Warcraft plays. But... I'm still happy that I'm playing it. There will be times I take breaks. I think they messed up in Warlords where towards the end there for the long period of time they didn't have much coming out. Uh, I think when when um, Wrath of Lich King was out they did it the best. You know they they spread out all the dungeons really good. Uh, the new dungeons coming out and then the raids coming out. That was I think they did that exceptionally well in. Uh, wrath of the lich king so i hope they do that same thing here for legion oh and of course one final thing i am fairly excited for demon hunters i'm not a great a dk player and i'm not a great monk player but for some reason i did try out i did have beta for a bit and i did try out uh the um, i did try out the demon hunter and uh it was a lot of fun a lot of fun i'm super excited to see Super excited to see what they, how they play when the final release is out. Uh, it, they didn't seem like they were overpowered like DKs are, because I don't care who you are, but DKs are definitely overpowered. So I didn't see, I, I wouldn't say they're overpowered, but we'll see when they come out and how they play. But that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will be doing these, obviously. These are normally every Friday. I know this one's coming out on Saturday. I, we do apologize. We've been really busy with everything. So, But we have released it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that like button. Uh, if you did like it, of course, make sure to subscribe for future videos. And we'll see you guys in the next one.